The Hittrick Academy is dedicated in loving memory of Rabbi Tzvi Hirsch Hittrick. Welcome to today's lesson. Today we are going to learn from Tashma over here, where this red dot is, until the Tashma over here. We are still trying to prove in the Gemara what is the halacha. Can a person take the law into their own hands or not? Today we are going to try to bring proof from our Mishnah that a person is not allowed to take the law into their own hands. Tashma, come and listen. Hameniach esakad b'shoserabim. If someone placed a kad, a jug, in a public place, and a second person came, another person came and tripped over it, over the jug, and he broke the jug, Lalacha is potter. He is not responsible to pay for breaking the jug. Now the Gemara is going to try to prove why this is a raya, why this is a proof that a person is not allowed to take the law into their own hands. Taima the Niskaba. Why does the Mishnah say that he's potter? Because the Niskaba, because he tripped over it, it was an accident. Hashavra, however, if he purposely went and broke the jug, for example, if the entire public area was full of jugs and he couldn't go through, and he went and broke it, Chayev, then he would be responsible. Because why? So the Gemara is trying to prove because a person is not allowed to take the law into their own hands. So this is seemingly the proof from our Mishnah. Now the Gemara is going to reject this proof. Amar Rav Zvid Mishmeid Rava, Rav Zvid said in the name of Rava, No, really, who I did not feel Shavra. The halacha would be that, even, even, that the, the person who tripped is potter, the person broke the jug, it not, is not only if he tripped, but who I did, the same halacha will be, I feel Shavra even if he went and broke the jug that was in his way. So why does it say that he tripped if he could have gone and broke it purposely? Bahaidik Tani Nisko, and the reason why it says Nisko, that he tripped, is because I did the Kavil Mishnah Seifa, because it needed to say in the Seifa, in the second part of our Mishnah, that in Huzak, that if the person who broke it tripped and hurt himself, Baal Chavis Chayev, the owner of the barrel, will be responsible, Beniskoi, to pay for his damages. So in the second part of my Mishnah, it says that if he hurt himself, the person who tripped hurt himself, the owner of the barrel will be responsible to pay for his damages. Such a case is Dafke Niskal. Only if the person tripped by accident over these over the jug or the barrel, then the owner of the barrel will be responsible to pay for his damages. Avol Shavar, but if he purposely went and broke the barrels, even though he will not be responsible, he'll be potter, he will not be responsible to pay for breaking it. However, if he hurt himself, the owner of the barrel will not be responsible. Avol Shavar, but if he purposely went and broke them, lay, he will not be responsible. Why not? The who Azik Nafshe, because he went, he hurt himself, because he went to Shavar to break it, and he hurt, and he hurt, he hurt himself. So he hurt himself, and the owner will not be responsible. So because in the second case, when we speak about who's responsible to pay for the person's damages, it must say Niskal that he tripped, Katani Reishin Niskal. Therefore, in the first part of the Mishnah. It also says nis, niskal that he tripped, even though it means that he can actually go and break it purposely. So we cannot bring a raya from here, from our Mishnah, that a person is not allowed to take the law into their own hands. And this is the end of this lesson.